Hello guys, welcome to King Technologies. Today we are going to build an animated progress bar in Flutter. Let me show you what it is. After that, we will build it together. So this is the progress bar we're gonna build. And whenever we change a value, like suppose 20 to 90, then it get animate to changing the value. And when I put it back to 10, it get animate back. We're gonna build this and as a standalone widget. So you can use it in any project you want. So let's get into it. For that first we need to create a folder. This is the folder I got and let me just open CMD here and flutter create dot. It will create the flutter project and then I'll open VS code here. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Let's put it here and here. Okay, great. Now let's remove this comment. Wait, we don't need this widget. We're gonna have a scaffold widget here. Inside that, let's put a body of a center widget and a child with a column. Actually, we don't need a center widget here. Column is fine. And let's give it a size box and a width of. Uh, Let's get the size equal media query dot size of context. And here we can give the size dot width into 0 0.5. So it get 50% width. And after that for child, we'll, we build a widget rounded progress bar. Okay. And uh, Let's create the widget first. For that I'll need a stateless widget. Rounded progress. Okay, I think this is coming here. Yeah. For that first we need a layout widget or layout builder. In the builder we'll have a we don't need to use context, we just need constraints. After that, let's get the width. Find an x is equal to constraints dot max width. Okay, spelling of constraints. Okay, now it's good. After that, we will return a stack widget here, and the children gonna be an animated container. And for the alignment. Building a center left. Okay, for animated widget, we need to pass duration. Let's get the duration here, and let's get it. Uh, that'll be good. Duration and duration in milliseconds. Duration. Okay, great. Now after that, we'll be needing um, width and x. Width is fine. And for the height, mm, we'll get the height as well from up. Final double height. And height can be here. After that, let's give it a decoration of uh, box decoration and color. Let's get the color as well. And for this color, I'm using color dot with opacity. Uh, 0 0.4 is fine, I guess.
after that let's give it a border radius of uh, border radius dot circular let's get the radius as well uh, it's going to be double okay. radius Wait, I think I'm going to put a comma here okay a bit of formatting okay let's copy this one and put it again and uh, let's get the padding as well for the height we'll add padding multiply by 2 so it get symmetry of top down okay, and for this one width uh, I'll be doing um, getting the value as num so final num value and that's gonna be value divided by 100 multiply by x okay great and we not we don't need opacity here and let's put the padding here or we can have a margin here and edge insert start symmetric horizontal padding okay and that use them as arguments other than value we can have uh, all the default values we can have a default values like duration 600 is fine for the color i'm going with blue for height let's go with 8 and for radius let's go with the uh, 50 for padding let's go with the uh, 2 and we can put a assert here as well for the value that value should be above 0 and below 100 below or equal to 100 and let's put a message that value must be between 0 and 100 okay great now for this one we can have a text widget here to show the value and let's create the value variable okay let's pass the value here and value. we don't need we'll have a const here and let's put a bit of style as font uh, text style font size let's give it 20. okay we can also change like duration to like something 700 height to be like uh, 20 radius to be a bit uh, less like uh, 20 padding to be like 8 let's run it and see the results Got this one. Okay, if we need to put a column with a main axis alignment, give me space in between, and let's put the center which is back, or we can have a cross axis alignment as well. Oh, space evenly, a bit better okay it's looking good uh, padding is a bit more great it's animating uh, you can change the color of it as well let color start let's go with the uh, pink isn't great so that's it for this video guys you can use this widget any way in your other projects we will be building more cool small and large projects like this in the future so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.